In downtown Milwaukee this afternoon, family and friends of Sade Robinson held a memorial service for the 19-year-old who was killed last month. Many today still struggling to find closure amid the open murder investigation. CBS 58's Adam Reif live in studio to share some of the moments from an emotional service. Adam? Well, today would have been Sade Robinson's 20th birthday. Her family and friends used that to try to celebrate her life as much as they mourned her death. But at the service, Sade's own mother addressed, in her words, the elephant in the room, an open murder investigation and still missing body parts. Today, her loved ones did their best to honor her. Everyone who knew her knew how special she was. And to every one of you, I'm sorry that we're never going to get to see that light again. Friday's memorial service tried to do what felt impossible for many people there, close an open wound. Um, to lose a child is something that was not a part of my plan. For several hours, family and friends. I never knew it was possible to love someone as much as I love my daughter. Even co-workers commemorated Sade Robinson's life. I have a little speech problem and a disability. It's kind of hard for me to walk. So she, so, she helped me, so she helps me walk up and down the stairs all the time. Intense grief, pain, and anguish were ever present. Her kids will never call me Auntie Cara and vice versa. But there were also moments of appreciation. But today we are here for Sade's celebration of life. We are here to talk about how she walked, how she talked, she lived. Joy and gratitude. Her head would go back, her mouth would open, and if you ain't never heard that laugh, you're missing something. I promise you. I wouldn't be the same person if it wasn't for Sade. At the end of the formal service, many moved outside for a final symbolic goodbye. Standing at the back of the memorial service today were several plainclothes detectives who have been working on Sade's case. That criminal investigation is ongoing as they continue building their case against the accused killer, Maxwell Anderson. Anderson is scheduled to be back in court next week. Here in the studio, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News. A lot of people invested in this case, Adam.